good job bringing more people into our little I Hate Satan club. Why don't you take a rest? Not interested. I got more shit to blow up. I'm just saying I got a lead on where you can find a very nice chair. I just told- It has guns. I'm in. All right, where's the chair? I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dane. Look, I got you this far. Just search the rooftops, okay? Ah, <sighs> life is good. Jezebel's plan worked flawlessly, and when the time was right, she made her way to the bowels of the palace. But while she successfully managed to breach the castle walls to let Johnny in, she did not go unnoticed. Put that toy down, Mr. Gat. And why would I do that? Oh, because if you don't, I'll break Jezebel's <laughs> beautiful neck. She's your daughter. I'll say something kind at her funeral. <laughs> Drop it! I knew it. It's you. It's always been you. Yeah, well, what you talking about? You love her. I really don't. You love her! Ah, oh, Johnny, my boy! I misjudged you! You've shown loyalty by walking into hell. You've shown cunning by robbing me. You've shown brutality by killing my generals. And now you're willing to sacrifice yourself for my daughter. You're the man who should be my son. <laughs> Defiant to the end. Now listen, boy. You've proven your spirit, but don't presume to push me further. Let him go. Not now, Jesse. The men are talking. Dad, let him go. Look how you inspire her. She wants to kill me. You bring out the best in her. I'll offer you a deal, Mr. Gat. Marry my daughter, and I'll allow your companion to leave with the President's soul. It's your choice. You know where to find me. The President's soul was within Johnny's grasp. All he had to do was marry Satan's daughter. <laughs>